San Francisco is known to be the tech hub of the world. It houses some of the most iconic places like the Golden Gate Bridge, Palace of Fine Arts and its skyscraping buildings. And every year, international students come to the city for higher studies. According to SF State's Office of International Program, 1,035 students enroll at this campus for the spring of 2023. While they enjoy their studies and most things about the city excite them, many encounter an issue they weren't expecting. I saw SF in videos, YouTube, uh, Instagram, and uh, it was quite different than what I imagined. And when I came here, I had no clue um, homelessness was this critical. Um, so it was quite a surprise for me. In terms of homelessness in San Francisco is very unprecedented and unique, simply because San Francisco is known for having the most billionaires of one uh, area, like the most billionaires in the world in one city and still has this prominent uh, situation with homelessness. Many Americans don't like to talk about the fear that develops around a homeless resident simply because they don't want to sound insensitive or rude. But experts say if you're afraid, bringing it into the open is actually a good thing. I think if people are, are afraid of what they're experiencing on the street, they should talk about it. Um, talk about it with people that understand and that know what's going on in the street because sometimes situations are dangerous. Homelessness is a multifaceted um, issue. It's not just one, one thing with one answer. And most people's homelessness looks different than the person next to them. So we, we have stereotypes. Sometimes those stereotypes are true. Sometimes they're not true. San Francisco has a number of different problems that are, are all associated with homelessness. Sorry, so behavioral health, drug use, and people living on the streets. And they're not, all, they're not always homeless, right? So people using on the streets may be engaging with their community, but they may actually have a home, right? So what we see on the streets, there's a percentage of it that's actual people experiencing homelessness. And there's a percentage of it that is very much something else. Roberto Gracia experienced homelessness for six years. He explains how challenging it was for him to find shelter. It's a task being unhoused and trying to get a shelter, like or a, a shelter bed. You have to get up at about three or four o'clock in the morning, then go down to a, a one place to put your name on a list. By five o'clock in the morning, get in line, you got to queue, queue up, and then come back to that same place at four in the afternoon to get, to get a, a shelter bed. And if you if you don't do this, you don't do this, you you don't get a bed. So you're kind of stuck in this this circle of waiting all the time for something to happen. Roberto acknowledges that it's understandable for the public to be anxious around homeless people. Well, some of it's not unwarranted. I mean, people act out. Uh, I, ha I um, had an undiagnosed psychiatric disorder during the time I was unhoused. And it wasn't until I uh, attempted suicide that it was um, discovered. Um, so, but I wasn't, I didn't act out. That wasn't my thing. Uh, but there are a lot of people with schizophrenia, et cetera, you know, a lot of anger issues. Um, so there, the public in a sense does have, ha, needs to be hesitant when dealing with the unhoused, but not necessarily afraid. According to Homeless and Housing Strategies for California, homelessness count for the year 2023 increased statewide by 9%. This is Daily City BART station and I commute every day over here. Uh, and um, this basically from where I go to my university or anywhere else, 
and uh, this is also the place where an incident took place uh, where I encountered a homeless person. I was uh, waiting for my bus on the, on the bar station and there was a group of homeless residents. One of them was uh, severely under um, drug drugs influence and what happened is he came up to me, he started slurring and he started, uh, started sledging and he was basically uh, commenting in a very racial way. He was uh, very inappropriate in his way, he was very offensive and uh, I was pretty scared about that and I didn't know what to do at that point of time. While it may sound dehumanizing to homeless residents, there is fear present and many people can relate to it, especially international students. My first reaction was I was just overwhelmed because um, I don't know why, because, but uh, I think they make the atmosphere of the city very like, overwhelmed and tense. Definitely feel scared and I had a lot of anxiety at the beginning because I don't know what they're going to do to me. I know not all of them are attractive, but I'm pretty sure like some of them are. I'm scared of homeless people uh, because I feel that their behavior is quite unpredictable. And when you are around them, uh, you just feel that anything can happen. For this film, we wondered how should we respond to this fear that is so prevalent? Could getting to know more about the issue actually start a productive discussion? So we suggested Yash to reach out to Episcopal Community Services. I think there's a, a general understanding of that California didn't build enough housing for about 20 years and that that are more more and that includes San Francisco. Um, so we're in a housing crisis, not just a homelessness crisis. What can one do uh, to help with the homelessness issue at an individual level uh, in San Francisco? The individual level is really a hard question. Everyone is looking for the right answer. Um, it's really paying attention to what you see in the streets, what you see around you, um, finding places to volunteer in your community that, that are addressing what you're seeing. The issue of homelessness is spiraling. According to Department of Homeless and Housing Crisis, 4,400 people sleep on the street every night in San Francisco. Roberto believes there is still hope and it is a humanitarian crisis that needs immediate attention. I made a, a, a core of friends now and they've also decided that they're going to stay here. And so, you know, we can grow old together. Um, I'm looking forward to that. Um, you know, the, the, the streets out here are improving. I mean, I know the city has, ha, has a new tactic now with dealing with uh, open use of fentanyl and, and et cetera on the streets. It's not going to be tolerated any longer. Um, I, I don't know what the solution is. You know, I don't know, draconian measures may not work either. I mean, um, I don't know what, what the solution is, but it's, it's a crisis that needs to be dealt with.